Back in 2017, Jatsu Games released 911 Operator. It was the first game of its type to embrace the challenging job of emergency response dispatch. It proved to be an instant hit, and thanks to Steam's workshop mods and a number of DLCs that have been released since then, it continues to maintain both a healthy review score and playtime statistics. Well, I'm very glad to say that in early 2020, 911 Operator's successor, which will be called 112, will be released. And I'm also very grateful to the developers for allowing me to share with you my alpha early access experiences. In short, I can say that 112 has evolved very nicely. Yeah, I'm leaving actually. That's going to be a 9-0. Shall we go to the other 10-1? Uh, requesting air. The situation on uh, 7-7 and go and going down to the straight face uh, and all the central push away. So, uh, got to get um, The key new features that you can expect to see in 112 include 25 times bigger maps. These are based on real cities across the globe and they will expand as you progress. They also include a new 3D view, which includes iconic landmarks. There is a new fire mechanic that has been included, and it means that fire can now consume entire areas based entirely on wind direction, which can change at any moment. 112, what's your emergency? Where are you? <laughs> I'm in the woods. <coughs> Haven't moved far. Is it spreading fast? It's like in the movies. There's an entirely new set of emergency calls and large events, which have been done extremely well. These mass events require dozens of units and can escalate very quickly. They have completely redesigned the campaign mode and now it includes an objective system, emails and even a story background. They've added weather, seasons and daytime, which now influence the duty and the incidents that you can expect to see. They're also introducing region-specific gameplay characteristics, so legislation will vary depending on country and you will find that there are slum areas, business area, residential areas, industrial areas, forests, etc, etc. There's also a new incident visualization window, which shows the action precisely and intuitively. You can see units arrive on the scene, you can see them make arrests, fire control, and even apply medical attention. There are some new units which include, but are not limited to, doctors, sergeants, canine units or dogs, bomb disposal robots, and much, much more. They've redesigned the equipment as well, making strategic decisions even more important. And no, just for the record, you cannot assign a canine unit to a motorbike. I've already tried. Now the gameplay footage that I'm including here is in alpha, which means it's in very early development stage. It won't really be ready until the beginning of next year, but already I can see and feel and experience just how much better this is going to be than 911 operator. Right away. 112, what's your emergency? Oh, hello? 112, hello? I think you can expect to see some design changes. They're likely to come about, and obviously I have experienced the odd bug, which is to be expected with an alpha. So what you see here is not necessarily what the final game will really look like. I have to say though that the voice acting here is extremely good. I felt completely immersed as I was trying to talk down a suicide, and I felt the same way when I was trying to convince a young man not to venture further into a potential fire zone in order to rescue his sister and father. The action tends to build up very quickly, and the challenge is a significant one. 
The biggest key feature for me includes the fire escalation and serious incidents, both of which will require multiple units to attend. This means that prioritisation is way more important now than it ever was before. Thankfully, the new units available do not only make planning and assisting a little bit easier, but it also indicates serious terrorist-related incidents are likely to follow later on in the game. One one two. What's your emergency? I'm Michael Miller. I need firefighters. What happened? There's a gas leak. I was coming back home and I smelled gas. Sir, it's a huge block of flats. Hundreds of people live here. Sending firefighters now. Thanks. I'm coming up. What? No, wait. You need to leave the building immediately. No way! My sister is inside! And plenty of other people! I need to warn them! Do you have anything that could ignite a spark? Um, such as a lighter? I don't think so. Is the light in the staircase on? It may cause an ignition if there's too much gas in the air. Nothing happened here. The light is already on. I need to help them anyway. You need to leave the building. Firefighters will evacuate everyone when they get there. I can't leave the building. My sister is there. You might cause an ignition. You need to run, <laughs> sir. In short then, 112 is looking like an excellent sequel to 911 Operator, and it has done so without losing any of the best features that made 911 Operator so popular in the first place. So please don't forget to check it out on Steam, add it to your wish list if you are interested in the game, and do check out my good friend Jimmy Daly, who is also going to be uploading some significant gameplay footage on this excellent title. I'm Sim UK. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.